Surrounded by dense forests and large yields of rice fields, Liu Zhuang Village in Yangshan County, Shanxi Province, is an ideal habitat for the crested ibis, an endangered wader bird. The bird, which was once widespread in Japan, China, Russia, and the Korean Peninsula, was believed to be extinct during the first half of the 20th century. However, then seven birds were spotted in Yangshan County in 1981. Following the sighting, the birds were placed under state protection. Thanks to over three decades of conservation efforts, the population of the bird has now increased to more than 1,600 in China. In Liu Zhuang Village, we met Ren Wanzhi and his family, who for the past 17 years have been protecting the birds. It was 1996 when a pair of crested ibises flew to Ren's home and nested atop a pine tree near his house. At first, both Ren and his family knew nothing about the large white plumaged bird with its long bill, neck, and legs. They simply assumed it was a kind of wild bird. However, local conservation experts soon informed the family that the bird, which has a dense crest of white plumes at the nape and partially bare head that shows its red skin, is actually the endangered crested ibis. Ren regarded the majestic bird as a symbol of good luck, and together with his mother and son, vowed to protect the birds. For the past 17 years, the family have done their best to take care of the birds, which nest in the area from December to June each year. Taking care of the birds has become like an extra chore for the family, who are busy every day with farm work. Spring is breeding season for the birds. Once they lay their eggs, it takes about 28 days for them to hatch. When the baby birds are hatched, we need to really take care of them. After the chicks have hatched, Ren visits the pine tree every day to tend to them. He even holds a net beneath the tree in case any of the chicks fall and become injured. Ren's son, Ren Wenming, joined his father's efforts and told us why he decided to do so. The birds usually lay two to four eggs. Sometimes, if there are four, the nest can become overcrowded and the chicks are prone to falling. Ren may just be a simple farmer, but he's racked his brains to invent simple yet effective protection techniques for the birds. To protect every baby bird and every egg, he sprays wine or sometimes fixes knives around the tree to prevent snakes and other predators reaching the birds. Nevertheless, Ren still worries that he's not doing enough to protect the birds. So whenever he goes to the fields to do farm work, he leaves his elderly mother in charge of the baby birds. At night, Ren even sleeps beside the tree. He often does this for around two months to offer the birds a 24-hour protection service. I take care of them for around 40 to 60 days. The first 20 days after chicks are hatched is very important and requires special attention. I can't relax until the chicks are fully grown and are able to fly away by themselves. Even after the birds have flown away, Ren still feels very attached to them. When he goes to the fields, he leaves food for the birds to forage. Crested ibis feed on a range of fish, frogs, crabs, to beetles and earthworms. The family has also stopped the clonking of cowbells to prevent them from scaring the timid birds away. Ren Wenming has corked the bell of his family's cow and called for the other farmers to do the same. Once the bird is disturbed, it will fly away and never return. So we have asked the local farmers to cork their call bells to avoid allowing their cows graze near the bird's habitat. By doing so, we hope to provide a quiet and a peaceful habitat for the birds. Thanks to Ren and his family's relentless efforts, more than 40 crested ibises have hatched from this one pine tree over the past 17 years. Ren's son has become a conservationist of the rare bird. Though Ren's elderly mother is now sick in bed, Ren, who is now a 71-year-old man himself, says he will continue to protect the birds as long as he can walk. Just like Ren and his family, protection of the crested ibis has become deeply rooted in the local people's hearts, and many of them contribute to safeguarding the birds. 
All the fields in the nature reserve for the bird no longer use fertilizers or pesticides. In return, local farmers are compensated for their economic losses for such protective restrictions. We no longer use pesticides. We all understand the importance of protecting the bird and support such restrictions. If we see the birds catch noaches in our rice fields, we no longer shoot them away. As well as promoting a balance between ecology and economy, the local government has also strived to achieve harmony between humans and the birds by providing farmers with training on environmental protection, as well as improving their living standards. If we stand here, the bird wanders there rather than flying away. I think this is the harmony we have created. <laughs> Statistics with the State Forestry Administration show that there are currently two known wild habitats for crested ibis and six artificial breeding bases in China today. Among the present 1,600 strong birds, nearly 1,000 are wild crested ibises, while the rest are raised in captivity. After more than 30 years of protection, there are now around 2,000 crested ibises worldwide. These include those in Japan and the Republic of Korea, which are all descendants of the seven crested ibises discovered in 1981.